watching the show, show your support by using the hashtag support R-O-T-T-M-N-T. Tell Nickelodeon we don't want them on Nicktoons Network. We want them on the main network. Show your support for the show as well. Four episodes, four reviews. And all of this is on one big special. Shoutouts to Turtles and Trench Coats on Tumblr for providing links to the episodes. I got to see them and provide my thoughts. I'm Mega Man NG and I welcome you all to another Rise of the TMNT Season 2 episode review. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 8B. And yeah, there's a reason for this. This episode is Donnie in versus Witchtown. I'll provide a summary as well as some of the main points. And remember, please support the show by using the hashtag support R-O-T-T-M-N-T. Don't forget to watch it too, because we need to show Nickelodeon that we actually do give a damn about it. And this show deserves all the love it can get. Let's begin. The Turtles, April, and Splinter are out to have fun in the, in the Hidden City. They all split off while Don and April head to Witchtown. Why? Because April wants some assistance for a science project. April is excited to see witches, but Don's not amused. More like he's not impressed. To him, he sees it all as nothing but smoke and mirrors. But his obsession over technology is going to make things go from bad to worse. In fact, it does. But when a fellow witch seeks their aid for the Peace Festival, will Don's technology help out, or will it backfire even further? This is all a bit complicated to say the least. For starters, they came. the episodes came out two days ago, like in a one-hour block. I think they had it as somewhat of a special. Yeah, they did. But if you want to know, it is a new episode equals new review. However, it's part of a four-part special. Second, this takes place after episode 8A, Raph's Ride Along, despite the fact that this is part one of Tales in the Hidden City. Why wasn't this aired first instead? I don't really know. But either way, this is an April and Dawn episode, as April needs the aid of witches for a science project. However, Dawn is not amused as he believes that mystic powers are nothing but mumbo-jumbo. Oh, how wrong he is. I really love the antics that these two have here, and since it's an April and Dawn episode, the chemistry there is just very strong. It's also hilarious, because on one side, you have April O'Neil, whose curiosity on mystic stuff has her intrigued. Really intrigued, as a matter of fact. And on the other, you have Donatello, who is a science-obsessed nerd that sees otherwise. The chemistry is just nuts. But I also feel you could just think of this episode as magic versus technology. Yes, I'm using a Linkara quote for this. Because the magic side of things is all the mystic stuff. And the witches uses magic for whatever they can. And I really do like it. On the other side, you have Donatello, who has technology. And his obsession over technology kind of got him and April in hot water. The witches don't seem to be that bad. But when Don decides to be an utter idiot and use his tech to pretty much like cause a statue to break by accident, they see him as a threat and they throw him and April out. I mean it. It's all part of the whole magic versus technology stick. And it's par pretty much part of the plot and I like it. But it also confirms one other thing. That Donnie doesn't understand magic. He really doesn't, or in this case, mystic stuff. His confession at the end of the episode further proves that he admitted it isn't that bad, it's just that he doesn't understand it. Yet his brothers, Leo, Don, and Mikey, can be able to handle it no problem. And I feel this is what makes Donnie so different from the other Turtles, because he relies a lot on technology. In fact, he over-relies on it. And that over-reliance is what made him so distant toward the magic stuff. At least he was able to apologize, because, yeah, that's at least something admitting your faults. There's almost the whole reason why there's all this festival in Witchtown is to ensure that a giant monster doesn't destroy their town for another year. And yeah, as weird as that is, the whole festival ends up becoming an impetus of the plot. Though Don's trying to finding of worms pretty much led this whole situation to begin with. Thankfully, it took the teamwork of Don and April to take it down. But not before April confesses that she does care for Don. She doesn't care for the technology, she cares for him. And yeah, Don's a genius, but sometimes you need a bit more understanding in order for things to go out as well as I'd expect. Yeah, this episode was really good. I liked it. Much of the stuff is funny. The animation is still amazing. I really do like it. I'm going to keep praising the animation again and again. And I don't care how many times because some people like the Mar the mysterious Mr. Enter 
want to like make like put down the animation, like not like it. Just because it's not to your liking doesn't mean it's bad. That's why the series has been getting a lot of flack because of negative word of mouth. But anyway, yeah, the animation is just very solid. The action is awesome, and there were a few laughs here and there. Yeah, some of the stuff man, actually made me laugh. But to tell you the truth, much of this could have been avoided if Donnie wasn't such a douchebag. My only negative in the episode is Don himself, because he acted like a complete grouch. Here's my word of advice. Just shut up. If you can't handle Mystic stuff, why even bother going with April the Witch Town to begin with? I don't get it. Though despite their efforts in taking down the giant, despite the efforts that Don admitted that he messed up and apologized, it's for naught. Because they end up getting locked up. And guess who they encounter? Raphael. Well, what about him? Well, we're going to find out in the next episode. Just you wait. I really did enjoy the episode. And I'm surprised they decided to make it a four-part special. That's awesome. Now, I only wish Nickelodeon can actually give a damn and actually give more love to this show. I already said this, but I'm going to keep on repeating it until next management gets it. I heard that they're actually considering, but they need a lot more than that. Overall, I really did enjoy it. I give it an 8.5 out of 10 because the animation is still top-notch and the action is good. There was a few single, there was a bit of a sing-along here and there and like in one part of it, but overall, I really did like it. And the chemistry that Don and April have was just really good. I enjoyed it big time. I'm not kidding. I really did. I really hope you guys get a chance to watch it because it's still pretty good. Next up will be episode 8A. And yeah, there's going to be a reason for that. At least episodes 9A and 9B continue. How they have it like this, I don't know. They could have just flipped it and it would have made a lot more sense. But who am I to complain? Anyway, that's it for this episode review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that bell. And please make sure you use the hashtag support R-O-T-T-M-N-T. We need to tell Nickelodeon that we do not want this show to die. Support Rise of the TMNT. I cannot stress it enough. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. Kawapunga! Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Using the hashtag.